And we continue to follow breaking news tonight. The Culinary Union votes to authorize a strike. That vote overwhelmingly passed tonight with 95% of the members voting in favor. Fox 5's Mike Allen is live outside the Thomas & Mac with the latest for us. Mike. Yeah, John, that yes vote came as no surprise to the folks I talked with here today. They all said they were going to be voting yes. And by the way, if you're wondering why there's nobody behind me here, no uh, big raucous celebration, it's because the voting ended at around 7 o'clock. And for the next several hours, the only people inside the Thomas and Mack Center were the folks counting those votes. Now, with that yes vote, that means the union is going to go into negotiations next week with MGM, Caesars, and Wynn wielding a little bit more power with the ability to strike. Here's what they're going to be demanding during those negotiations. We're pulling up a graphic for you showing you uh, what the union is demanding. A 4% wage increase, better health care and pensions, reduced workload, a daily room cleaning mandate, improved on-the-job safety, technology protections and training for things like AI, and extended recall rights. Now, if the union does not come away with a favorable deal, they are prepared to strike. And when I asked about how long every union member I talked with, including the secretary treasurer, all had the same answer. When we go on strike, we're on strike until we win. And it'll be as long as it takes. As long as it takes. As long as it takes, man. As long as it takes. As long as it takes. Now, one worker I talked to said she and most of her co-workers have second jobs, and she said they'll be able to quit them if they wind up getting what they want out of this new contract. They're looking for a five-year contract. Reporting live tonight from the Thomas & Mack Center, Mike Allen, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.